The old adage goes, education is the key to success. Universal primary education is even listed by the United Nations as its second millennium development goal meant to be achieved by the year 2015. While Kenya already offers free primary education and subsidized secondary education, the new constitution will shift the dynamics a bit. Article 43 of the new constitution says every person has the right to education. It gets more specific in Article 53, Section 1b, which guarantees all children free and compulsory basic education. Within our, our context, basic education would actually prevail up until secondary school. The role of the national government under the new laws will remain as it is currently to guide the primary, secondary and tertiary education. Key among this role will be the setting of national exams, which some had feared would be left to the new regional governments. To ensure that there is uniformity in the type of education, in the type of uh, information, uh, in the type of standards that the children of Kenya uh, accorded nationally. However, the counties will still have a role to play. The county government will have responsibility over pre-primary education, uh, will have responsibility of ensuring that village polytechnics, home care centers and institutions of that caliber are uh, delivered to the standards that that county deserves. One of the biggest changes though was to make the Teachers Service Commission a constitutional body, yanking it from under the Ministry of Education. The TSC maintains much of its mandate, which are to hire and fire trained teachers, to assign teachers for service in any public school, to promote and transfer teachers, and to discipline the teachers. It was deemed important to secure the commission's uh, independence, to secure the, the commission's uh, protection within the constitution so that it can undertake its mandate uh, and, and, and ensure that it can set very high standards. TSC will be funded directly from the Treasury, not via the Ministry of Education. That to us is going to create a very good change and impact on the way education is being run in this country. The independence of TSC could mean that teachers' strikes could be a thing of the past. The role of provincial directors of education will still remain but will be structured to fit in with the counties. Andrew Ocheng, Citizen Weekend.